Hoi hoi, how are you? Happy Tuesday it is. Um, so, right down to business, you may have noticed yesterday my video had a different title. It was more of a working title. It said diet update and then the date. And from now on, that's how I'm titling my videos because um, these quick little updates, which I'm doing now, are definitely, I'm getting less material for a title. You may have noticed every other video I've released except for my Wednesday weigh-ins started with the word I. Um, <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of a fun thing. Uh, turns out titling is difficult. Um, I know, crazy, right? Uh, so I'm just gonna do diet update. Actually, I think I thought of something clever, the TED Talks. I wanted to do a spin on that, but yeah, uh, that's gotta, that's gotta think about it. Oh my gosh, what happened there? Stop that. Stop that. Okay. My hair likes to cooperate on good days, but today apparently any day I work is not a good day because this happens after I wear my hat for three hours. Anyway, so diet update. Uh, today was a fairly good day. I started off with a good breakfast again, um, and that was my, uh, my, uh, what do you call them? Shreddies type thing. The Golin, the Kashi Golins, and those were good. And then my bread, and then like my peanut butter and jam to get some protein and the jam is actually strawberry with extra fruit and it not extra different fruit just extra strawberries it's quite nice um and a cup of joe uh walked to school and on the way I saw Kia pro my friend Kia I'm not gonna say her last name oh that might be bad hi Kia by the way she's she's a supporter of my vlogs and I thank you so much Kia because it actually means a lot to me when uh, someone I know in the real life um, supports me and notices uh, what I'm doing. So, hi and thank you. Um, also, cool thing, uh, today I was at work, as you can tell, because I'm still wearing my Mick outfit. Um, and just in case you're wondering, yes, my name is Ted. Um, <laughs> so, um, two people I worked with today commented on how good I look. Yeah. No, um, I've lost... Well, I'm gonna find out tomorrow if, I'm at, if I've hit the 50 pound mark. Um, now, I know I have hit the 50 pound mark because I was over 350 when I started, and now I'm around 300. I wanna break, I wanna break that level so much, I wanna get into the 200s tomorrow. I really, 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 really do. But if I don't, I'm not going to be too upset. Uh, still haven't emailed Carlin Schmidt. I'm going to do that. I need to do that because she knows a lot, seemingly, and I need to talk to her about that. Um, cool. Cool, cool. So my lunch this afternoon, I uh, I have co-op my last two periods. Stop that. Um, and I lost my train of thought. Oh, I have co-op last two periods, so I get to go home at lunch, and so I came home at lunch and made myself uh, some beef stew, smart ones beef stew, and yes, again, it is a microwave dinner, so preservatives are present, and those aren't the good ones, those are preservative heavy ones. But it was quick and easy, and I wanted to nap, so I got a chance to do that. But oh my gosh, I saw, okay, I really wanted to get out to the theaters to see Argo. And I was so upset because like every time I wanted to do it, something came up. And then it won Best Picture. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to see this now. Because I've been such a huge supporter. I watched it today. If you haven't seen it, oh my gosh. Do it. It is spectacular. And you know what? There are comments going around from, uh, you know, they don't give enough credit to the Canadians. Which is true. Uh, Canadians had a huge part in that. Um... But, uh, you know, you know, it was a fantastic movie. Victor Garber uh, is in it, and he plays the Canadian ambassador. And what I like about that is he's actually Canadian. Cool fact, went to my high school, well, my old high school. Um, so he's a bit of an inspiration to me because he's someone from my town, from my old high school, who made it in the movie business, and that that excites me. Um, so that that's a big uh, that's a big get up and go kick. Um, 
And so I hope someday I'll make a connection with him because that is that is a, that is a cool uh, that is a cool little connection there. But yeah, he played the Canadian ambassador, and I really like that um, because he's a Canadian. Uh, anyways, my dinner this evening I had work, um, and on well, at work um, we have a new smoothie called the well I don't think it's new I think it's been out before the Shamrock Shake. Um, I've never had one, and I really wanted to try one. My birthday is St. Patrick's Day. I am Irish. Everything about me. I love Ireland with a passion. I need to go there someday. I actually kind of want to live there someday. Um, but I really wanted to try out this shamrock shake. So I decided, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to get a small. So I got, I ordered a small. They gave, I think, looking back on it now, they gave me a medium. Uh, I drank it. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't fantastic. Um, I mean, if you're really into mint, it's really minty. It's, kind of nice, but, uh, the gross feeling afterwards is something never noticed, but as I've said in previous episodes, I'm starting to notice how gross, gross foods make me feel, and I don't like that feeling, and of course, I'm doing a vlog right now, so this girl shows up, jeez, she always leaves me alone until I'm talking to you guys, I don't know, she likes you guys, I don't know, um, so I came home, oh, don't put thumb over lens. Head film 101. Um, uh, so I came home and for my dinner, made myself some sandwiches, uh, counted all the calories uh, of my morning, came to a good amount, so I decided I can have two sandwiches, and on them I put uh, cheese and salami and ham. And with that... I um, put some mushrooms in a frying pan and sort of heated them up and grilled them uh, and had those with them. So I had about six big, like, full-size mushrooms, um, which were delicious. I love mushrooms, anyways. Mushrooms are... Okay, so when I first started this whole diety type thing, uh, my biggest uh, influence was my friend Kirk, who wants to be a dietitian, who wants to be a... A personal trainer dietitian when he uh, you know graduates university and so he was my big driving force and he told me about the magics of the mushroom and not magic mushrooms mind you just magic mushrooms magic of mushrooms um, because they're a fungus and they grow in dark places where the sunlight doesn't get at them and they that's how they thrive they produce all their own nutrients for themselves so when you cut them up, they have all those nutrients in them, and they're nutrient-rich, so you eat them, and you get lots of nutrients, and that's, they're superfood, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, that was my dinner, and then, recently, my dessert, usually, is a half a cup of, um, chocolate froyo, and, uh, I add a handful of trail mix to that, uh, just to give it a bit of a nutty edge, and I eat Sierra mix, is my favorite. Because it's uh, a bunch of, it's got peanuts, almonds, cashews, uh, tiny, I don't even know what all the nuts in them are. There's just a lot of them, and raisins. And so yeah, that was my, uh, that was my diet update for the day. So, uh, tomorrow's the weigh-in. Oh, camera's going everywhere. Tomorrow's the weigh-in. Kind of excited, kind of nervous. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful mixture of both. I'm really looking forward to breaking this 300 mark. Because that's a huge milestone, and, uh... That just makes me 50 pounds closer to my next tattoo. And or a trip to Disney. No, wait. Disney is 280. And that's actually happening in 2014. So, um, if I can get down to 280, I'm actually going to Disney World. We're actually following through on this. Um, and my mom's, my sister and I are planning it, and then my mom's going to help us with it. So, uh, you know, big incentive, huge incentive. Oh my gosh, I'm, oh, I'm getting worked up over it. I love Dis Disney with such a passion, and every time I talk about it, you know there are people who are super fanatics, and they start talking about something, and they get a little tear? That's me with Disney. When anyone ever calls anything, you know, racist or uh, bad about Disney, I automatically shoot them a terrible look. Bought this two days ago. Oh, yeah. And uh, this two days ago, yeah. Yeah, and uh, basically just building up my collection of Disney movies with complete Blu-rays. Why? 
by the way, spectacular. Um, why? Because the Blu-rays have all these bonus features, these magical, magical bonus features that I love with a passion. Because you get to see the animator's hand-drawn notes and uh, my Blu-ray copy of Lady and the Tramp. You can actually watch the movie, uh, and you know how you can listen to it with commentators? You listen to it, and it's got the, the production notes with Walt Disney and his production crew. It is the most fantastic, magical thing in the entire world. And when I watched it, the first time I heard Walt Disney words... Dis mm. The first time I heard Walt Disney's words, I teared up. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm actually hearing Walt Disney. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited, and I'm feeling pumped, and I'm feeling nervous. I'm just feeling so many amazing emotions that make me feel alive. So, this video did go a bit over. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Slancho, have a good night, and thanks for supporting me, honestly, and I will talk to you tomorrow, and I won't end with a creepy smile this time. I'll end with an angry frown. Okay, sad frown. Okay, I can't do that. Happiness!